it's Jester uh, making a video at Midwest Fur Fest. I'm stuck in costume currently, considering that there was a gas leak in the hotel. If you can kind of see, oh, let's see, where is it? Oh, there's some flashing lights. So currently, we got about several, at least, um, fire trucks, ambulances, policemen, and whatever else they could find. So, get my good friend Skippy. Uh, let's see. We got my boyfriend Jitty, who's hiding his face currently. So, I guess this is a good reason why I probably was holding off for just another Friday. Congratulations, you have a first hand con experience at where I was for the weekend. I will see you guys whoa, if I don't drop my phone. So, yeah. Good times. Welcome to the impromptu convention. At a convention center. Oops, sorry. He's gonna run you over. I almost ran to my boyfriend. He, he was on the ground. I almost tripped. Documenting it just uh, so I can have it for history. Because why not? Fair enough, it's not like it's fun. Good times. Hello, I'm Jester de Rama and I'm wearing a different hat with the goggles. I've had this hat since high school, so don't think I'm copying anyone, please. Anyways, um, sorry for missing the past few weeks. I've been really busy. Um, one of which, one of the things that I've been busy with has been schooling because I finally was able to get into the trade school I was meaning to get into in the first place for the CNC operator thingy I've been talking about for... I don't know how many months now I've been mentioning this in my videos. Anyways, yeah, I kind of started on that um, one day, and then they have Christmas break, and I don't go back till January 5th or whatever. And then I proceed from there and get certified. So I'll probably be talking about that less, or at least until I get certified and then get a new job. Yay. Um... Let's back up a little bit to a couple weeks ago, beginning of December, where I would have done the Friday, um, but of course um, I was over at Midwest Fur Fest, and for those of you that are familiar, I'll get to that in a moment. Um, prior to going there, one of our rats, Ivan, um, unfortunately we had to put him down due to a tumor on his neck um, growing back after having it removed for the first time. Yeah, that was depressing to put it lightly. But, um, yeah, if you do know Ivan or don't, um, my boyfriend on his Bull Dumber Rat channel has been taking videos of them, um, going up to now. He's currently holding off on one, given that we also had another rat that died after we got back from the convention. And, of course, I had the flu then, and by the tail end of my flu, Laertes, the Silver Rex, the curly furred one, he died of a broken heart because we lost Ivan. Well, yeah, it's another bit of sad news around holidays. And December kind of sucks for that kind of factor, don't you think? Um, oh yeah, MFF itself, or MWFF, whichever you want to hashtag it as, so you can actually know what I'm talking about. Um, Saturday, there was a chlorine gassing incident. I think I said that right. Chlorine gassing incident that happened that caused all the con-goers to um, vacate, well not just con-goers, the hotel staff too, and pretty much everyone in general who was even in the hotel, they had to v vacate the hotel and we were on the streets for a little bit, and then there was the convention center right across, um, Stephen's convention center, we hung out in there for about three, four hours until we were finally able to go back into the hotel and by then I was pretty drained after having been in my costume more than I needed to be and I was trying to stave off a panic attack at the same time so just to put it just to keep it simple I was stressed as hell 
So, we had that. Got back to the room, I was exhausted, as was everyone else, and we're a little bit shocked when we end up, end up finding out that the media was cracking jokes about this, and of course, there are a lot of other people who were also deciding to dehumanize the situation just because they're part of a fandom that's a bit more accepting than others. I guess when you're more accepting, you're more shunned. How does that work? I don't know. Um, after that, yeah, a couple of rats died. Another end of the convention. The convention itself was awesome. It's great to go to, besides the fact that someone was actually trying to attack a group of people. But yeah, um, I was going to be saying things on the sides, also for the Five Nights videos when that was going to come around. And I wasn't able to get to that, considering I was working on the schooling. So yeah, you saw how angry the doctor got. That was pretty fun, wasn't it? Just kind of seeing him... Good bit more... What's a good word? Let's say he was enraged. And just believe it at that. <laughs> um, in regards to more Five Nights videos... Um, I'm messing with my hands too much. Yeah, livid. That was probably a better one. I was livid in those videos, or that the, um, the doctor was livid. I totally wasn't livid in those videos. That totally wasn't me being pissed off. Totally not. Um, yeah, those. Um, the next sections. Okay, let's call those sections for those two games. Five Nights 1 and Five Nights 2, of course it's not the full title, don't try and correct me on it. I'll get to those later, but it's kind of getting a little bit stale if you might be kind of noticing. So therefore, as you may have been seeing in little info boxes down here, I have been saying next video, or videos, will be for Don't Starve. And since my um, Navy friend, Morse Apple, decided to gift me Don't Starve Together, there's a possibility, should um, Jitters' uh, schedule um, be open, we could probably do a Doctor and Derpy thing with that. Or we can just do it as each other, or just as Jester and Jitters. So you can either have Doctor and Derpy. And if you heard that, as a little boy from him on the side, because he's cute. No. You are, you just did a little voice. So cute. See what I mean? So, there's the option of Dr. and Derpy or Jester and Jitters. And my nose is itching. Sorry for a moment. Me. Okay. So, yes, Don't Starve will be next, considering I've been kind of wanting to do that, and I want to kind of give you some variety rather than just to give you Five Nights all the time. Um. Oh, something I do want to address with my channel. I know I'm making this way long for you guys, but I'm kind of making up for three weeks of missing this. Yeah, it's four, five, and six. Sorry, wrong number. Never mind. Um, yes. Anyways, I wanted to talk about some of the comments I've been getting on a few of the Five Nights videos. While I do respect being competitive, comparing me to other Let's Players by saying, Oh, so-and-so beat this, no problem. And so-and-so never died in this part of the game. Or like, so-and-so beat this game this fast. I've been getting some comments like those, and while I do know it's kind of, I guess you can be considered being proud of your favorite Let's Player, I'm really trying to hard to understand this, because when you're coming to me saying, oh yeah, he did that, it's like comparing me to someone else, and I find that to be very, I'll just say rude, because I'm, to me that's inappropriate just to kind of put someone else on a pedestal and then just kind of say, oh yeah, well, he did that. I mean, not only is that brown nosing, but it's very rude to me, and probably rude to them that they're kind of being put in this position now, where it's like, oh yeah, Johnny 2x4 is like so awesome, and now he has to kind of come and say, hey, I'm sorry of an overzealous fan, and I haven't had to get to that point yet, but basically, I'm just saying, stop trying to compare me to other people, because that's rude. Um, let me check my list of things. Oh, I'm also looking to finally get my... Hoity McToity teaser scripted so you guys can see. Oh, I'm sorry, combining my two voices, that's mine and Hoity's. I want to try and give you a more genuine character that will be, I guess, displayed in a teaser. And I'm planning to actually include his agent in this with another voice. What do you think of the usual slime ball? He usually is trying to direct one of his, you know, clients. 
one of those guys. A voice kind of like this. You know, city goer type. Just to kind of give you a bit more of a fun spin on it. But I'll be scripting a teaser for that soon so you guys can finally hear me stop. Finally hear me stopping with these teasers. Other than that, other projects are currently in the back burner because as you can tell, I am busy as heck. Uh, other than that, I will be going back to scripting my blogs as well. This is why I'm busy and this is why I'm saying that. I'll be scripting Ask Matt Dr. Hooves and Bubbleberry Answers. These are both tumblers and I can leave links as well in the info. Uh, assuming you guys are watching this on the YouTube page, that would be below here. Yeah, and I was checking in my head if mobile does it too because... I am so used to the days when we actually had infos on either side of everywhere. Other than that, I think I addressed everything. I addressed the videos, I addressed my blogs, I addressed the convention, I addressed the loss of my family members, and I'll be looking to get more um, cage mates for the others soon. As soon as the, um, I don't know the right word for them. People who, breeders, there we go, that's what I was meaning. The breeders, they'll, they're of course busy right now, it's the holidays, but yes, it's just another Sunday for now, even though it's supposed to be Friday, and you know the thing that I usually do at the end about praising the Spurple? Praise the Spurple, you know, just kind of casually, just do it one-handed this time, because, uh, can I get a backup praise the Spurple from you? Hopefully that came through. Actually, try that again. Praise the purple. What? Dramatic microphone lift. Why well, you don't like being on video? Okay, that did get picked up on Audacity. Great. He made a fart noise with his hands. He is so mature. You are very mature, aren't you? He sticks his tongue out at me. Par for the course. But. <laughs> yeah, you are. Guess they are getting married someday. <laughs> Little bit of a fluster, isn't it? So, yes. Praise the Sparple! Doobly-doo. Dramatic pausing with fingers. Praise the Sparple! <laughs> yes. Praise the Sparple, if you will. So, about, what, 11 minutes worth of video for three weeks? Not bad. See you guys next time, and I am Yesterday Rama saying that just because. Later. Uh, Minecraft was gonna have a particular powerful sounding character with this type of voice called Craftcrafter5 because he was supposed to be a really cheesy character and I'm still gonna get to that as well as the Argonian who is oh so riveting in Skyrim and both games will have use of mods uh, given by the community. You guys can actually suggest which mods will go in there but it has to be per donation.